You have burned the welding rod red. What is the reason? This is not a problem of sticking. Our newbie's sticking method is wrong. So we directly knock to make it sticky, which will inevitably produce spots. The correct way to make the welding rod sticky is to tilt the welding rod, slide it in, and then raise the pad to make it sticky and lower it to make it sticky for welding. Tilt, slide, and insert to make it sticky. This is the correct way to make it sticky. Let's weld one. Isn't it done? It won't stick, right? Second, we can also prevent the problem of sticking welding rods by adjusting the function of the welding machine. Everyone, take a closer look. All Z-Bar welding machines are called DC welding machines. There is a welding current adjustment on the DC welding machine. Everyone knows this. The thicker the plate wall, the greater the current. The thinner the plate wall, the smaller the current. Then there is an arc starting current on the welding machine. The arc starting current is to help you start the arc. For example, when we are welding with a small current, our current is about 90. Then when we start the arc, it is also very easy to produce sticky welding rods. It sticks together and cuts together. So we can count the arc starting current on the welding machine. For example, the arc starting current of this welding machine, each grid represents 10 currents. Let's add the arc starting current to about 70 to 80. The arc starting current is 78 and the welding current is 90. Then, what is the arc starting current plus your welding current? It is equal to 176. Then, when we are welding, there will be no spot welding rods. Let's try it again this time. You see, this time the welding rods are not sticky at all. It's not that our level has improved, but that we know how to adjust the welding machine. When a novice is welding, the welding rods stick to the welding rods. Increase the arc current to the maximum. Remember, you can't add a fuse. If you increase the arc current, it is very easy to weld a big hole. Remember, you must not increase the arc current. When welding, you can increase the arc current. A hole will be formed after welding. There is also a thrust current on the welding machine. What is the role of the thrust current? For example, when we weld a force welding rod, adjust the current to 115 and use alkaline silver welding rods and 507 welding rods for welding. Welding. When welding with the brush technique, the welding rod gets stuck. Has anyone experienced this? When welding with 507 alkaline silver welding rod, we can use the thrust current to prevent the welding rod from getting stuck when our hands are shaking. We can increase the thrust. It can increase the space to prevent the problem of sticking. Let's increase the thrust and try again. The sliding brake fluctuates and welds normally. You see, no matter how your hands move, the thrust is large and the space will not cause your welding rod problems. So let's listen carefully to how to adjust the thrust. For a small current of 80 to 130, we need to increase your welding thrust. Increasing the thrust increases the space. For example, if your welding current is between 80 and 130, without adding thrust, the space may be about 1 millimeter. Then after increasing the thrust, the space may be 2 to 3 millimeters. Then when your hands shake, you will not have sticking welding rods. Acid welding rods 42. We don't add thrust because it doesn't stick to the electrode. We only choose basic electrodes to increase thrust. We increase thrust for the tail numbers 6 and 7. Remember, thrust cannot be added to the maximum. Add to the maximum. Then, the adjective presentation is not good. Look, one is cold and the other is cold. Remember, only small current increases thrust. Large current doesn't want to. So, DC handy and AC handy are also divided into positive and negative order. What is DC handy and what is AC handy? Everyone, take a closer look. Those starting with J are DC handy. Those starting with B are AC handy. Those starting with B are big. The AC transformer is an AC welding machine. The rectifier is a DC welding machine. The A terminal, the W terminal, the T terminal, and the N terminal are all DC welding machines. DC welding machines are divided into positive connection and reverse connection. Look at it. There is a minus sign here. Plus welding. 
Connect the money to your welding machine. Plus is called DC reverse connection. When DC reverse connection is used, all welding rods on the earth can be welded. We just need to reverse connect them. Then we can also choose DC positive connection. Connect the money to the welding machine. The abbreviation is called DC positive connection. When using DC positive connection, acid welding rods can be welded. This includes rods numbered 42, 502, and those ending in 2, 1, 3, 4, or 5. We can use acid welding rods to connect 421, 423, 42, and 425. Both A102 and A132 are acid and hard welding rods. When we connect DC positive connection, they are all you can weld when the DC is positively connected. You absolutely cannot weld with alkaline electrodes. When welding, a large number of welding pores will be generated. The welding is unstable. For example, when welding 506, 7, 4 to 27, 426, 57, 6, 107, 8 on 57, the numbers with the tail numbers 6 and 7 are called alkaline electrodes. You cannot weld. Follow me, and we will continue to share the real technology of the trader. Thank you for your support.